Hi, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, bringing you another video on the calculators in Final Surge for the Palladino Power Project. Um, it, this one will be on the, uh, the CP calculator from a CP test, or at least two test components. Um, once again, you'll be in beta mode on your calendar screen in Final Surge, and you simply come over here, select the calculators icon, and you'll have various calculators. Click on the Paladino tab, and you want to scroll down to this one. So if you have done a CP test, or you've recently done two test components within a one-week period, let's say you've done a two-minute and a 10-minute test in a, within a one-week period, you can pop that in here as well, that data. Um, the instructions uh, ask that the shorter test domain is two to three minutes, and the longer test should be at least 10 minutes up to 20 minutes. Um, once you start going below 10 minutes on the long test, um, it, is, it usually results in an overestimated um, CP FTP figure. I actually think 10 minutes is is marginally the lowest. Uh, however, it is uh, used as a default in my plans just because the plans are um, targeted for a very broad audience. And I can't know their, their tolerance for doing a 12 minute or 15 minute uh, long component test. So um, it, as long as it's in that two to three minute or 10 to 20 minute range, uh, the two test components, then you're you're fine. Um, and as long as they're done within one week, and I, again, all my CP tests um, are are single day CP tests uh, with at least thirty minutes in between the two test components. Um, so this calculator is going to produce three outputs, three estimates. It's going to produce the CP FTP estimate. It's going to pr produce a reserve work capacity. RWC is re reserve work capacity. It's going to produce an estimate of RWC. And it's going to produce a, a very rough approximation of power at VO2 max. Now, keep in mind, there is no single power at VO2 max. Um, there are multiple powers that power duration combinations that will access VO2 max. Um, <clears throat> consider this one uh, perhaps on the shorter duration side the, or, and higher power side of the range of, of power durations that can access VO2 max. Um, this is based on a, uh, a five, an estimate of five minute max power using the two uh, test components. It will calculate your five minute max, which is the surrogate for power at VO2 max in this case. So three outputs. Uh, let me give you an example. So um, here's an athlete that did um, uh, two minutes and 59 seconds. Notice how I, I, um, I clicked into this box. There's a number of numbers there. It, it will start re remembering the numbers that you're, you're, you've typed in before. Um, so uh, two minutes and 59 seconds, and the athlete ran uh, average 477 watts. Then they did a 12-minute test and averaged uh, 401 watts. Okay, so... You just have to manually select. I, I recommend not using the lap, but instead go in and manually select that test segment so you can get the exact power and duration from that test segment rather than what the lap is because the lap may um, be a few seconds askew of, of when power started and, and ended. So uh, manually select from the power file enter the data here, click estimated results, scroll back down to that calculator. Here's the, uh, the calculator, CP and RWC from a CP test, and there's the outputs. Uh, estimated uh, CP is 375.9 watts, 
reserve work capacity was 18.11, um, which is um, which is a little bit on the high side for this athlete. Um, and a uh, five minute surrogate power at VO2 max of 436 watts. Um, and by the way, this, this is at a, about 86% uh, of CP, this, this power VO2 max, or I'm, I'm sorry, other way around. The CP is about 86% of power VO2 max, which is, which is not atypical uh, for runners. It would be rather high for a cyclist, but for a runner, it's it's uh, it's uh, more uh, it's it's more in line with what's been reported for runners. So um, there you have it. It's it's a quick and easy calculator that will um, produce uh, three estimates: your CP estimate, your reserve work capacity estimate, and your power VO2 max. No, notice it doesn't have. Um, the little alerts that you'll have in the super power calculator. Note that it only allows you to put two test components in as opposed to the super power calculator. If you want more advanced calculators, use the super power calculator. But for the, for the majority of, of testing, particularly the ones that are in my plans, this, this particular calculator will work quite well for uh, following CP tests. Um, thank you for watching this one. Um, I'll put a, a couple links in the uh, notes for this uh, uh, cal uh, this video, and uh, we'll hopefully we'll uh, see you on the next one when I discuss the next few uh, cal couple of calculators. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.